projects that all of us are building aren't about the dollar value or the amount of cement and gravel used. It's really about making life easier for people, building strong families and even stronger communities. And as the Premier said, our government has been all in on building Ontario since day one. Under the leadership of Premier Ford, our government is fighting for everyone, not just those in the big cities. We're standing with hardworking people, not those like some at Queen's Park who want to phase out good blue collar jobs. We know Ontario is built by those who shower at the end of the day, not the start. Our government is working for workers every day and we're not slowing down. We have a workers first plan to build stronger families, stronger communities and an Ontario that works for everyone. As the Premier said, we're building the roads, bridges and hospitals we need and putting more money back in the pockets of families where it belongs. And our government has a lot more to say on this in the days ahead. Every day, more businesses are opening shop, creating hundreds of thousands of new well-paying jobs across every corner of Ontario. From large manufacturers opening up new plants, to new shops and merchants opening their doors, from new lines at paper mills and mining up north, to auto jobs in southwestern Ontario, good jobs truly are coming back to the province of Ontario. For these businesses to thrive, they need to have access to the latest technologies with skilled workers to match them. And on the other side of the coin, people need to have the tools they need to advance their careers and earn bigger paychecks. Today, I don't need to tell anyone in this room, we are facing an unprecedented challenge with the labour shortage not seen in a generation in Ontario. Today, there are 338,000 jobs going unfilled in the province. The, take that into consideration, that's the population of Windsor. Every paycheck that goes uncollected is a missed opportunity for someone to find a new job, support their family, and give back to their community. It's a major problem, and one we're addressing by putting workers in the driver's seat of our recovery. Our plan to build a stronger Ontario includes first-of-their-kind changes. Changes that help people earn bigger paychecks and access to even greater opportunities. Ontario has the best workers anywhere in the world, but we must continue to step up our game to keep our sought-after workers here and attract more workers for the jobs that are awaiting them. Our government is getting it done for workers by protecting their right to disconnect at the end of a hard day's work, raising the general minimum wage to $15 an hour on January the 1st and to $15.50 an hour on October the 1st, banning non-compete agreements that keep wages low, allowing delivery workers to use a washroom at businesses along their route and by making it easier for internationally trained workers to practice in their professions in Ontario. But we're not stopping there. Last week, our government passed our Working for Workers Act, which builds on the successful changes we implemented in the fall to support and protect our workers. We are protecting workers' right to privacy by requiring larger employers to disclose how they're monitoring their workers. This requirement is the first of its kind in the country, demonstrating that our province is once again breaking new ground and taking historic steps to support and protect our workers. We're also making changes to attract skilled workers to Ontario and help them quickly continue their careers here. Workers in regulated professions from other provinces and territories will have their application for registration in Ontario processed within 30 business days, making it easier to fill vacant in-demand jobs and drive economic growth, and making it faster and easier for workers to find good jobs in their fields. We're also addressing the need for more workers in the skilled trades in your industry and many more. 
By 2025, it's estimated that here in Ontario, one in five jobs will be in the skilled trades. But at the same time, a third of tradespeople are nearing retirement, meaning our province faces a shortfall of 100,000 skilled trades workers in construction alone over the next 10 years. As the Premier just said, we're investing more than any government in the history of our province when it comes to infrastructure, $148 billion in the next decade. We need these workers to build Ontario, to build the homes that our families need, to build the schools where our children learn, to build the hospitals that care for us when we're sick, and countless other crucial projects that are essential to our economy. That is why we are moving forward with recognizing all Red Seal trades under Ontario Skilled Trades legislation. The Red Seal program sets common standards for the skills of tradespeople right across Canada. An endorsement of three uh, other additional trades makes it easier for more skilled workers to come to Ontario. And we aren't tackling these changes alone. Things work better when government, labour and employers work together and I'm really grateful for the support of Good Roads. Together, we are getting things done. That's why today I'm proud to announce that our government's investment of $1.3 million to support the Good Roads E-Road Advanced Training Project. Your innovative project will help 500 workers upgrade their skills through e-learning courses. By supporting this project, we're working together to fill the skills gap and give more people the technical knowledge they need to advance their careers. This will especially benefit uh, rural, northern, and remote communities where access to training is often expensive and time-consuming. By giving workers the tools they need, we're helping them unlock bigger paychecks to support themselves, but most importantly, to support their families. We're doing our part to ensure that people have the tools to fill in-demand jobs and that we have skilled workers to build historic projects in every corner of Ontario. We're making sure that our province is the best place to live, work and raise a family. We're all in to building a stronger Ontario and together, all of us working together, we're going to get the job done. <laughs>